be a beautiful day, really. I mean, when you factor in all the sunshine and temperatures warming up with a nice southerly wind, you're really going to want to get outside today. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, nothing on the max track, nothing expected. We don't have any clouds overhead. You do see a little bit of blue out there, kind of in a circle around the radar site, and that's just a little ground clutter. It happens when you get a chilly or cold morning. That radar beam gets sent back down towards the earth and it kind of picks up on trees and stuff. But as temperatures warm, that'll go away. And really, if you look at the radar sites around the country, nothing. At least not until you get about 700 miles away from uh, Kentucky. And that's where you start to see a few showers out there just off the east coast of Florida. Not really putting down much and just kind of skirting right along. So that's it as far as the east. If you get out towards the west, you've got a lot of rain moving in from the Baja Peninsula coming off the Pacific, a lot of moisture, but not really putting down anything uh, overboard as far as weather is concerned. It's a pretty quiet day and will continue to be as such as high pressure hangs out in the east. That brings a southerly wind for us, so that's why between yesterday and today we're going to get a nice temperature boost. We get another one as this warm front bubbles north from the south, so by Monday afternoon and Tuesday, Temperatures will be nice in the 50s. Now, after that point, yeah, there's, it's a cold front, and there's actually two. There's one behind it that will really pull in that cold air. But uh, until that point, you've got temperatures warming. You've got a nice day today. You get a little more cloud coverage throughout the day tomorrow, but still no rain until we get to the afternoon, evening. And then overnight into Monday is really when the uh, rain will start and really get going throughout the day. It's not looking like a whole, a whole lot. Uh, but there still is a flood warning for Buckhorn Lake and the surrounding counties, uh, mainly the tributaries that are getting into the lake. So still running pretty high out there. But regardless, that rain is, is not going to help, but it's also not going to hurt all that much. So that, of course, is good news. As far as what we have for today, another dry day to let those water levels go down. But another day that you can get outside and enjoy yourself. There were a lot of people outside yesterday, even with the chilly temperatures. Today gets warmer, upper 40s, low 50s in a few spots. We will hit the mid 50s by tomorrow, at least here in Lexington. There will be some spots that push near 60 with that nice warm up. Uh, still cold mornings or at least chilly at, at times, but those afternoons are really going to be nice the next few days. Rain showers will get here late in the day on, on uh, Sunday and continue into Monday and rain will be likely. Uh, so we're not getting rid of it completely. We're not keeping the dry weather for a few weeks or anything. It's certainly going to be off and on, but we are seeing bigger dry stretches in between which is key. That's what we need. So mid 50s, cooling down to the low 50s by Tuesday. Then the cold front arrives and you can see that big dip in the temperatures, low 40s, mid to upper 30s. And for a couple of days, not just one day, it's actually going to be a few days uh, that we get those cold temperatures. So things that you can expect another taste of winter as we get towards the end of the week. Upper 40s with plenty of sunshine, really a nice afternoon. Take advantage of it. Uh, we don't get too many of those this time of the year. Temperatures upper 20s with still mostly clear skies with those clouds starting to increase throughout the morning tomorrow. And uh, that will usher in the chance for rain as we're getting into the late part of the day. So your eight day forecast this is what it's looking like. Uh, really just a good weekend. And once again, don't let those sh the shower icon keep you indoors tomorrow. You have all day to get outside, enjoy yourself. There's still some clouds that are moving in, but the showers don't really get here until late. Then overnight into Monday throughout the day, the rain continues. That goes all the way until Wednesday when we will start to cool and it will be very bitter and cold by the end of the week.